What's up guys, I'm Youngster Skamor. Merry Christmas! Um, and today I'm here to give my brief first impressions on Fire Emblem Warriors. So since uh, Christmas was two days ago, I did get uh, a, a lot of games. I'm very excited to play all of them, even though I'll never have time to. Um, oh, that's actually not true. This, uh, I'm thinking that this this like next like seven or eight months, I'm actually going to have a lot of time to play games. Which is really good, because I'm pretty much done applying to colleges now. So, and school's gonna be winding, school's like not gonna be as important, you know, as I, uh, as since, um, I've already applied to colleges, so I'll hopefully have a lot more time to play games. Also, I don't think I'm doing a spring sport, just lifting, so I should have a lot more time, but anyway, um, it is break, so of course I've got time right now, and I have played about, I know this isn't like a new game, Fire Emblem War, well, it's kind of, it came out like four months ago, maybe, um, but basically, if you don't know, the first impressions videos are basically videos that I'm gonna do for, um, this anytime like I just start playing a new game and like play it for like I don't know like an hour and a half two hours, a uh, different amount of time depending on the game, then I'll you know come talk about it uh, in a sort of open-ended video like this, and then maybe when I finish it I'll give her a review, hopefully, and then see you know that'll be more formal and scripted and see how my uh, thoughts change. But um, this is only the second video back uh, from my return to YouTube, so hell hey everybody who's uh, just just coming back to me. Uh, I did a video, my first impressions on Super Mario Odyssey, like, three weeks ago. I know that was, like, a while ago, too. But, um, this last month, like, that's why I was saying in that video, like, this last month, I didn't really know how much I'd be able to upload because, uh, um, because I still had to finish applying, even though, like, I was a lot less busy, I still had to finish applying to a lot of colleges, and I still had more essays, right? That took a little longer than I expected. But, um, from here on out, it's gonna be, uh, hopefully, I'm gonna start being able to upload a lot again, but, um, especially over break right now, I have a lot of time, so... Uh, I played, I actually haven't played this game in about two days, so forgive me if I forget a couple of things, because I played it, I played about, if I had to estimate, I'd say I played about one and a half hours of Fire Emblem Warriors so far. I'm not sure, that's just an estimate, because um, if you look in like my Switch profile, it'll still be like, ju like just started playing Fire Emblem Warriors. Uh, it only starts like counting at like five hours. By the way, I really don't like, uh, and also it's I think a certain amount of time after you have bought the game, I don't like how uh, Switch um, like game log works compared to like the Wii U 3DS had it really good and like it, it showed <clears throat> show like the exact amount of time and stuff like that that you played it for. Switch is a little less reliable, but you know I still it's still uh, a very important thing to have and it's much much better than nothing. And um, so I actually didn't get to play any games yesterday because I had wrestling practice and then right when I got home I got ready and we, I actually went to the city. I was there for like 10 hours and then I went to sleep. So that was my day yesterday. But today I hope to uh, play some more games and tomorrow and the next day and the next day and the next day. Video games are just, you know, these fantastic things that I love to play. So I am actually not, I don't have that much history with the Fire Emblem series. I've only played some of one Fire Emblem game, uh, which is Fire Emblem Awakening. I played about the first five chapters, uh, chap I, I mix up chapters and hours. I played about, the, I think, the first five or six chapters, um, like up to like maybe chapter six or something like that. That's just a guess, I don't quite remember. Um, and then I lost, oh, I actually, I, I had sort of stopped playing. Like, I kind of liked it. I it wasn't complete, I was like liking it so far, but I wasn't like, loving it, um, but I hadn't really given it like enough time to really know, but for whatever reason I fell out of it, and then I lost all my 3DS games, as some of you know, so I don't have it anymore. I was actually really excited, I really wanted to like really get into Fire Emblem with Fire Emblem Echoes, um, because that, uh, there was a lot of stuff unique to that game that I thought would appeal to me, and I thought that would be a really good time to re-enter the series after kind of forgetting about Awakening, but then, like I said, I lost my 3DS, so, and all my games, so then I ended up not playing Echoes, so hopefully I will we'll really give Fire Emblem a try with the Fire Emblem game for Switch that's supposed to be coming next year. But, so anyway, um, my opinions on Fire Emblem Warriors are going to be really different, um, probably, I imagine, from someone who's, you know, knows a lot about Fire Emblem and has a deep history with Fire Emblem and, and has played a lot of the games. So just keep that in mind. I have played Hyrule Warriors. That's the only other um, Warriors game that I've played. So if you don't know, um, this is the second, like, crossover game between a Nintendo franchise and Dynasty Warriors. Dynasty Warriors is a series of games, there's a lot of them, but I've never played any of the non-Nintendo ones, where it's, you know, um, there's a lot of enemies, and you're, like, a very powerful character, and you, like, defeat, hunt, like, hundreds of enemies, um, with, like, these combos, it's a, I guess, like, a hack and slash game, you could call it, um, and, uh, so, the gameplay, if you've played, I really, when I play Hyrule Warriors, I really, like, to give you some, uh, something to relate it to, I guess, I really, really liked Hyrule Warriors, there were some things I didn't like about it, the story, I had a lot of problems with that. It was just, like they just didn't treat it as canon or as as it, well, they didn't treat it as being important at all. And I thought a lot of the crossover was really lazy. Though I did really like um, 
I really like the gameplay. Was, it's like not like it's like my favorite game in the world, but I really really liked it. I really liked the gameplay of Hyrule Warriors, and so far I'm really liking the gameplay of Fire Emblem Warriors also. Um, it is the very very similar style of gameplay. I've only played so I played the prologue, chapter one, and chapter two of Fire Emblem Warriors, and it's interesting how it actually has like chapters, like a Fire Emblem game. I like that. I think that's pretty cool, and it has like a map, like a Fire Emblem game, and. uh... The gameplay so far is very similar to Hyrule Warriors, um, but not quite, I guess. So, most of it is pretty similar, but since I haven't played as much, there haven't been as many different objectives, but I'm also very early in the game, so I don't exactly know how that will turn out. Hopefully they are at least as, like, kind of varied as they were in Hyrule Warriors. Not that they were, like, the most varied or anything, but it wasn't just, like, always the same. And it's not always been the same in Fire Emblem Warriors, either. Um, one thing, though, that I've noticed, uh... In Hyrule Warriors, I remember there being, like, even in the first level, I think there was, like, there was, like, a big boss, like, you'd fight, like, the giant Dodongo, I think, in the first level. And I don't know if there's really anything like that in Fire Emblem Warriors, at least in the first few chapters, at least not that I can think of. Like, there was just, like, a lot of these, like, monster guys, and then a lot of these, like, soldier guys, and then there was, like, a couple, like, bigger monsters that were, like, the, uh, more important enemies, but they weren't bosses or anything like that. Um, so I still haven't, like, fought any bosses or anything, so hopefully those exist. Um, let's see. Also, in... One thing that's to note about Hyrule War or Fire Emblem Warriors compared to Hyrule Warriors is I think in in Zelda, you know, there's so many different types of characters you could pull from that all have so that are so unique and like are so different in so many ways. Like you had the Bug Princess, you had uh, Link with a sword, Link with a fire rod, Zelda with her magic. Uh, you had like freaking uh, I'm trying. I'm, I'm actually haven't played this game in a long time, so I kind of forget a lot of stuff. You had like Azora, you know, stuff like that. So they all, each, all, most of the characters were all, all had very different attacks as the others. Whereas in Fire Emblem Warriors, you know, pretty much everyone's, you know, like a sword user, a lance user, an axe user, a spear, I, and there's more than that, I know. But everyone, like, uh, like I feel like there is a let, there would be less uh, room for variety in the characters, like, move sets and like how unique they are. And I have seen that a little bit. So I think in, in the beginning, in the prologue, you uh, start off, like, the prologue is interesting because, or maybe, I don't know if this is a prologue, or maybe this is actually before the prologue, but wherever the first fighting sequence is in the game, it's clearly, like, a, the opposite of a flashback, like, a foreshadowing, I guess, and, like, you're with, like, a couple other characters, I think, like, Marth and Krom and the main character of the game and a couple others, and you can switch between them freely, which I thought was really, uh, weird that they let you play as all those characters in the beginning and then basically take them away from you, because, you know, in Hyrule Warriors, like, uh, you start off as just Link and you gradually unlock the new characters, so a lot of, like, game say is very fresh because you're constantly playing as a new character in like a lot of the levels um so i thought it was weird that they threw so many characters at you right in the very beginning then i didn't play as that much and they took them away so i guess it will still be like they're new when i unlock them uh gradually like later on in the game but i thought that was a little bit interesting one thing that i really like about this game is it's basically its own fire emblem story um at least from what i can tell so far like pyro warriors didn't really feel like it, it had its own story, but it felt like it was just like, I don't know, I guess the main difference is, sorry, I have a little, by the way, I don't know if I meant this at the beginning, I have, um, I'm a little bit sick, so try, please forgive me if, uh, so if I sound a little weird, if I cough, because I kind of have a cough, I was about to cough there, but I managed to hold it in, um, but Fire Emblem Warriors actually has, like, the main character of the game, the main protagonist, the character you play as first, is not, uh, like, an existing character, he's actually an original character. I forget his name, but there's two. There's twins. They're both blonde, and um, you can pick whichever one's the main protagonist, and that's the one that like I've been playing as for the most so far. And I'm not gonna. I guess I'll say what happens in the beginning. I, I, do I want to? I don't know. I don't think I want to say what happens in the beginning because even like the beginning had some like uh, from what I played already had some had like a pretty big moment in the story already, and I actually really like the direction that the story goes. Um, it is about the two twins, and they basically have to grow up because the kingdom needs them. Um, but it's just from the very beginning, that's what I can tell. But I don't know exactly how it works, how they're bringing in other characters. Like, uh, so you start off with just, like, after, like, the weird prologue thing that was, like, a bunch of them. You, you go back, um, and you just have, like, these exist already existing characters. And then, I think it was Lucina, uh, came in, like, just out of nowhere to, like, help us. But it's, they said her name was Marth, or his name was Marth, I don't know. Um, they just introduced the character as Marth. But it had a mask, and I'm pretty sure it was Lucina. I've never played the actual Fire Emblem game, so I'm not exactly sure how they sound in English. Like I said, I played Awakening, but um, I don't even know if I got to the point where Lucina was in it. And if I did, I don't think I did, but even if I did, like, I don't remember what she sounded like. But uh, it sounded more like a girl to me, so I think it was Lucina, but I don't know. And then a little bit later in Chapter 2, 
um, you like fall off the beaten path and you just find Lissa and Krom, and it's actually a throwback to Awakening because the main character like collapses on the ground, and then like Lissa and Krom are like above you when you wake up, so it's very similar to the beginning of Awakening, which I thought was really cool. And then Frederick comes along also. So I don't know if it's like gonna I still don't know like how like they got there, whether they're just like happen to be traveling in this kingdom, or whether it's gonna they're gonna pull some weird like portal BS like Hyrule Warriors did, which I really didn't like. So I'm hoping that they don't do that. I'm hoping that it's like, oh yeah, we were just exploring this kingdom for this reason, like that's why we left our kingdom. Instead of like, wait, we were just in our kingdom. How did we get here? How did our worlds collide? Like I hate I really hate stuff like that, so I hope that's not the case. That hasn't been the case so far, but they haven't really explained it yet, so I'm not sure. Um, and then I really liked the story up until this point, but then in chapter 2, um, like, some of the story gets really stupid because in the beginning, like, all the fights you're doing are, like, for a good reason and you're very motivated by the story. But then when you find Frederick and Krom and Lissa, like, we're asking them for help and they're like, okay, we'll help, uh, except for Frederick. Krom and Lissa are, like, super ready to help and Frederick's like, I don't know if I can trust these people yet. Let's see how they do on the battlefield to earn my trust. And then just randomly we're in the middle of, like, a fight with, like, all these random soldiers that you're just beating the crap out of and like killing and he says it's not fight to the death but like where do these thousands of soldiers just come from that are just on frederick's side that are just there for some reason and they weren't there in the cutscene like that makes no sense and also that makes no sense that he would just trust us based on like whether we can beat up all these soldiers that is so dumb i that's like i really hate stuff like that and i think that especially like in this story that had been like pretty serious up until this point this like that was just so stupid and i really hope there's not more stuff like that later on so i can see the story end up being really good or really bad because like it was pretty good for the first few parts and then like, the chapter two was just very dumb and uh, i really didn't like that so who knows what if it's gonna keep being stuff like that or if it's gonna go back to being good i don't know and uh even though the story is like has been pretty powerful so far and i am liking the setup so far um the, the dialogue is pretty corny it was, it was weird because there was a lot like the beginning especially in that like weird foreshadowing thing which just like as long as we do it together, we'll win, because we're together! And it was a lot of, like, that kind of stuff, you know? Which I thought was so dumb, a really weird way to start the game. But then when it went, like, back to the... Then it, it, like, goes back to, like, the actual beginning of the game, and you got the two twins, and you got the queen and stuff, and they're just, like, all talking, like, how... And it was actually pretty, uh, relatable, and it made me, like, feel like it was real. Like, that was actually, like, these... Uh, like, it made me feel pretty attached to these characters really quickly. And at the, at the same time, there still was some corny stuff they were saying, but then there was also some super relatable stuff they were saying. I'm like, oh yeah, I, I can definitely see these being real people. Um, so it was weird. There was a lot of corny stuff, and there was also like a touch of like some really like relatable stuff. So I I don't know. Like that's why I like the story a lot. But then there's also corniness. I don't know. So yeah, that's I think I think I've said enough about the story. But I really do like how at least so far it seems to be like pretty much its own story. Like it's telling a new story from what I can tell. Obviously, I've never played really a Fire Emblem game before, but. And it could just be the story could just not evolve at all from this point on, and not progress, and just be like keeping finding these new characters like randomly, like oh, world's colliding. I don't know. Uh, it could end up not being that good. But from what I've seen so far, I like the story. Um, and I like that they use new characters as the main protagonist. I know some people I think don't like that, um, but at least as someone who isn't a, a Fire Emblem fan, I really like it. Um, I can understand, I guess, if you really like Fire Emblem and you want to play as all the Fire Emblem characters, and you don't want to play as these random guys. But to me, who hasn't we played my Fire Emblem games like this guy, like a lot of these characters I still am not attached to, but these actually, the protagonists I am attached to, you know, because of what's going on. The gameplay I really like, um, it's pretty similar to Hyrule Warriors, I've said this before, I know, um, and I just wanted to go back to it and make sure I really like the gameplay I'm having a lot of fun with. It's a lot of Y and X, like basically how you play is you just string combos together with Y and X, so if you just keep pressing Y, that'll be a long combo, if you do just X, that's like one attack, then you press Y and then X, that's like a different attack, then Y, Y, X, it's a different attack. And then Y, 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 X is like a different attack. And like, it's kind of like that. And then like, there'll be Y, 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 Y. Um, and it's different for each character, but it's mostly stuff like that. It's a little bit like, each attack's obviously different for each character. But I think you can also, you can also like, unlock new combos. And like, um, which is interesting. I liked that, uh, which seemed pretty similar to Hyrule Warriors, how that works. It was a little convoluted, some of the upgrade stuff in Hyrule Warriors. And I'm worried it might be, or it wasn't that convoluted, maybe a tiny bit. And from what I have seen so far, it might be a teeny bit even more convoluted in this, but I just scratched the surface of it and barely gotten into that, how those systems work. So I don't completely know, but because Hyrule Warriors like, have like a menu screen, but this doesn't really have a menu screen, so you have to like, I don't know, it's just a little, like, it, the menus were more easy to navigate and figure this stuff out for Hyrule Warriors, I felt like. Whereas at least so far, uh, with not being used to it in Fire Emblem Warriors, I'm not quite sure how I like that, but obviously, very early on. Um... Also, you level up in this game, which is interesting, because, like, like a Fire Emblem game, you level up, but... Um, but I guess you, you level up in, Actually, no, I forgot. You do level up in Hyrule Warriors also, don't you? I don't remember if it works the same or not, but, um... 
I'm also, in the Heart Warriors, there was a lot of, like, you get different weapons, and that completely changes the character's playstyle. Uh, I don't know how that, if that is in Fire Emblem Warriors. I really hope it is, but I don't know if it is, because... Hyrule Warriors had a really confusing thing, like there was different weapons, like Link had the Master Sword and the Fire Rod, like a sword and a Fire Rod, but then there was also like different sub-weapons, so there was like a bunch of different Fire Rods that just had like different stats that you could unlock and like change, but it was like kind of confusing in that way. So I got that in Fire Emblem Warriors, like I changed one of my character's swords, but he still like has all the same attacks, but I wonder if there'll actually be like different weapons, you know, like oh now this completely changes his moveset and how he plays. I hope there is, but I don't know. I know a lot of people also don't really like a lot of core Fire Emblem fans, that this game seems to be only taking from like some of the newer games like Awakening, um, Fates, and I don't know if it's taking from Echoes or not, but Awakening, Fates, and then like a little, like, it's like a lot from Awakening and Fates, where, instead of like from the whole series, so a lot of people think, but yeah, I would agree, like, it doesn't really matter to me, because like I said, I don't really know a lot of the older characters, and actually, it's probably better for me, because that's all I'm really familiar with, even though I haven't played Fates, like, I know a lot of the characters, and I played a little of Awakening, so I knew Lissa, I knew... Prom, I knew Frederick, but I can definitely understand why someone would not like that. I had that same issue with Hyrule Warriors, where they only took from like three different games for the most part, instead of like from this grand scope of what Zelda is. So I definitely understand that criticism. It doesn't really matter to me as someone who hasn't played many of the games, but I definitely get that. Because like Hyrule Warriors, there was so many other games we could have taken from. Like, how was Linebeck not a character? And I don't know if Linebeck ever ended up being a character with the DLC. I didn't really follow the DLC because I didn't I did not like what they did with Legends, where I was like the DLC came out, and you can get the DLC, I think, like, some of it with, like, Warriors, but then with Legends, like, there was, like, new stories for some of them, and it was kind of confusing, and then I ended up just not playing a bit, which is a shame, because I really liked that game. I really do like that game. It's not past tense, I still love it, but... So, yeah, I don't know about that. That's a little, uh... Wait, I lost my train of thought. Oh, shoot. Oh, what did I say I don't know about? I completely lost my train of thought. Oh, yeah, how there's only from a few different games. And then, um... The music is pretty good from what I've seen so far. I think it's similar to Hyrule Warriors, how it's like kind of electric-y, um, but like still songs from Fire Emblem, from what I can tell, but not quite sure. And also, I was playing it like in the car with my family on the way to like our grandparents' house on um, Christmas so for some of the time, and I um, forgot headphones, so I had to have it kind of low. So I didn't get a great taste of the music, and also the sound effects like and the voices were really loud compared to the music, so I think I turned those down a little bit, because you can ch change that, which is really nice. I think, like, all games should have that when you can, like, lower the sound effects. Because I, like, generally like the music to be louder. Actually, I don't know if I feel that all games should have that. I don't know. Just generally, I like the music to be a little louder than it's often preset to be. Because um, I think the music is, like, really important in video games. I'm sorry, I moved my chair on the wood floor. But, um... But yeah, I think that's pretty much all I have to say about Fire Emblem Warriors so far. It's, um, the only Switch game I got for Christmas. Whereas, I... I oh my gosh, this is, like, it was, it was, like, I think, like, the best Christmas I've ever had in my life. It is so crazy. We got PSVR, we also got an SNES Classic, and we got a lot of games, and it is just insane. Um, but the only Switch game we got was Final Hero, or Warriors, so I think I'm going to not play a lot of that over break, because I'm going to want to be able to play it during school, uh, whereas if I played it over break, then I couldn't play my PlayStation games that I got in school, and I would just have not, like, not one of those new Christmas games to play, you know? But if I can play the games that I can only play at home at home, and I'll play the game that's also portable when I am portable, I guess, if that makes sense. Um, so I'm probably not going to play it a lot for the next, like, five or so days, but, um, I definitely really want to keep playing because I really have been enjoying it, and so far, from what I can tell, um, I really like it, and also the different characters, I guess, there's nothing to mention, have, like, in the, in the foreshadowing, I guess, you could call it, I didn't know if they all felt completely unique, like, I thought Krom, I don't know how if I thought Krom felt that unique, or maybe Marth it was, I don't know if Marth felt that unique, I think I played Lucina for a little bit, but at least, like, the ones that, like, I'm getting now, like, Lissa is really unique, to the main character, um, I don't know, Krom's like kind of unique, I do worry that the characters aren't quite as unique from each other as in Hyrule Warriors, but I digress, I don't know, it's not that, I'm still pretty early, so I think that's pretty, I think I pretty much gave my impressions, I'm enjoying the game very, very much, I'll say that, um, because I've said all these things that are like some good, some bad, but overall, I love the gameplay and I'm enjoying the game very, very much, and I definitely, from what I played, I would recommend it, um, like I said, only one and a half hours in, so thank you guys for watching. Um, please let me know if you have any suggestions for this type of video, if there's anything I didn't cover, if you have any questions like this, because I really do like the idea of this type of video, where I was, like, giving my first impressions of a lot of the games I'm playing, um, so I think that's a fun thing to do, and I love to do it. So thank you guys for watching, uh, stay tuned for more videos, please be sure to follow me on Twitch if you want, I, I, I don't even know why I say that, no, no, no. I, I'm like, follow me on Twitch, I'll, I stream every once in a while, but not that much, it's not that important. Follow me on Twitter for some updates and stuff, 
Uh, like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed. And I'll see you guys next time.